We'll start off with her normal attacks, and I think one thing that's really interesting is she has a lot of really long multi-hitting strings that you have to kind of dial out really quickly. Right. As you can see here, this is her forward two, oh, so it's got it. a ton of range, but the thing is, while these do good damage and have a lot of hits, you actually can't hit confirm a lot of them because you have to kind of dial them out. Like, right. Because they are a lengthy dial-in combo. Yes. Yes. This is like kind of one of her main strings, and you can either cut it short or do this last part here. She has a low that'll actually pop them up a little bit. She doesn't get a traditional cor uh, combo mid-screen, but in the corner she can. And she does not have a pop-up overhead like a lot of characters, but she does have pretty good range on her hop attack. And a lot of her moves are also knocking them back. She is kind of a zoning character too, right? Yes, absolutely. That's still really good. It's not just her range. Uh, let's check out her throws because they are beautiful. I love the little pose there. Awesome. Uh, her last normal I'd like to show is her back one, which is a pretty fast, good range mid. And she has a couple of extensions off of it. And this one here, during the kicks, you can kind of hit confirm, see if it hits, let the whole string go. You can stagger it. And it is actually a crushing blow on a punish or a counter hit. Ooh. So it gets really good damage and is, pushes them full screen for her zoning. Can we, right. see, can we see her down one? Her down one is exactly what you want from <laughs> I, I would consider it a, a failure if her down one did, was not that. Right. Here's a question for you. As a, f a former top katana of the world. Mm -hmm. Many, many years ago. Uh, 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 what tell me how many times do you think you've done a down one with katana? The down one has made me quite a lot of money. That's all I can say. <laughs> back back in the day when you were doing it, there wasn't quite a lot of money though. Be, well, <laughs> when you are as consistent as I am, getting top eight, and you're only making three hundred dollars a tournament, when you get top eight at every tournament you win because you're just that tight, it adds up. It does add so up. So tight. So how many Steve. times have you pushed the button? I, it's got to be like a thousand times, right? How many times more than a thousand. Just pressing. I mean, one. the thousand times. I mean, per game. Oh sure, sure. Yeah, that okay. makes total sense. Like that was her anti-air, her footsie tool, her mix-up tool. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go into her special moves. Um, we'll start with the standard ones. Her fan toss is back. Like the last game, it's super fast. It's a high attack. It can hit people out of the air. If you amplify it, she does a double one. This can catch people jumping or that are trying to walk in after the first one. It's a great projectile. Her air fan is back, but in my opinion, her ground fan is kind of her, her core footsie tool, in, uh, or zoning tool in this one, very similar to MKX. Fan lift is back. It's exactly what you want. It's a combo starter. And now she has a new move, which I just whipped, this cool throat slit. And this, to me, is how you're going to end most of your juggle combos. And it has a crushing blow if you do an eight-hit combo. So once per game, you can kind of cash in, do an 8-hit combo, end in the throat slit, and get significantly extra damage. But again, with the crushing blows, you can only do it once per match. So you right. kind of got to know, like, if they're going to die anyway, you don't want to cash out. Yeah, I got to say, we've been, you know, we've been playing a lot of the game in the studio. Like, yeah. A lot of people. A playing, lot of people. Which is awesome. And, like, the meta game of figuring out your crushing blows and when you want to use them, and the times you accidentally down to when they're pretty much dead anyway and you waste it because you didn't put hold on. Yeah. Like, the, this this meta game, I can't wait for the fans to start playing because it is some of my favorite parts of the game right now. Uh, she also has square boost back. The amplify is really, really cool. Normally, she can only do it in the air. And that's where we can get into the loadouts I made. I made two loadouts to show. Okay. So the first one, I gave her ground war, which allows her to do square boost on the ground. It behaves just like the air one. It's super fast, so it's almost like a shadow kick or Raiden Superman. It's a great combo ender. Like, for example, normally you can't combo after this. If you have ground war equipped, I'll go ahead and go into square boost to give her extra damage. The other thing I gave her is flutter is back, which is essentially like a double jump where you can lower. So you can do stuff like, normally she does jump kick fan to kind of get in. You can fake it out, and if they try to anti-air, come down with a jump kick fan. Or you can use it to get over projectiles. Maybe like Noob throws a shadow or Liu Kang throws a low fireball and you're going to hit the ground. You can do flutter. And then lastly, in this loadout, I gave her Royal Protection, which is a projectile absorb. Hey, you didn't use Jax this time to set up. Yeah. The I, <laughs> smart move. So you see her fans start glowing. When she absorbs a projectile, she actually gets a damage buff on all her fan attacks while the fan's glowing. So you kind of are zoning the opponent out. 
you absorb a projectile to stop their zoning, and then that actually amplifies her melee to then go in and use her offense, which is and with pretty her cool. having like these long chain combos as well, right? Like right. that damage is just gonna. It's stack. gonna add up. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. So one interesting thing is, uh, you know, we talked recently about how we're gonna have two preset loadouts for tournament and ranked play. Mm -hmm. This is actually one of her tournament loadouts that I made. This is the one that I like using. I've been using it against you a lot. Right. So here's an example that people and my, are saying. My Jax one actually is too. Yeah, the the one that you just use for Jax's. So those are the three moves she gets. So how about one more loadout? Also, yeah, let's do just it. while we're talking about that, we will be playing our belt battle today in tournament mode. In tournament mode, yes. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. You um, always have to be ready for tournament. You never know when a tournament's going to start. Well, do you not I, want usually it? you get an invitation to the tournament. Do you not want it? Do you not did, want your, it? did you not get your ancient scroll? No, I did not get an ancient do scroll Do you not at want all. to do that today? Are um, you afraid? Whoa, 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 buddy. Um, I'm not afraid of anything. I just... The possible character that I select to do the belt battle, I don't know what their tournament loadout is, but you know what? Let's do it. Well, we, you will find out as the community does. <sighs> well, actually, yeah, I mean, we're all going to find out today. Yeah. Let's do it. And then my witty name won't be there. Oh, That's Let's okay. Let's go for her fatal blow before we go to loadout two. Well, wait, we got to get the camera back. There it is. All right. I got you. You can see the end two, the attack, is a really long range move. It's pretty good if you like look for movement in the mid range it's it's pretty slow it's it's not like super super fast but the range makes up for it love it real quick uh do you have any sort of uh lore about i mean listen doesn't have to be about 11 we cannot have a combat cast without a ton of lore minute well, I can say this is a little known fact uh it's from John Tobias's notes that came out a couple years ago Katana was actually originally planned to be an MK1 under the name Katsuni, and her role in the story was going to be Shang Tsung's daughter, and you would win her hand in marriage if you won the tournament. Oh. But they, you know, they had a lot of story ideas that they never really went with, and they used her for MK2. Nice. Nice. And that has been... Steve's Lore Minute. Awesome. Cool. All right. All right. All right. So I'm using the human skin, which I absolutely love. She has another version of this I like even more, but... She well, looks great. But you're yeah. going to see that in a couple weeks. Yeah. So in this loadout, I gave her two things. The first is a Denyan Razors, which is this cool move where the fans circle them, it hits three times. You can use this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with Burke. Burke yeah. in the power station is distracting me by <laughs> acting the move out. So this move is really good to make your strength safe. It can also be an anti-air, and you can get combos off of it. You can also use it in the corner to get combos that typically aren't possible. So, for Ooh, example, I love that combo. That was nice. I like when it says to get combos that aren't possible. Well, it's possible. Just Normally aren't yeah, possible. I, 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 got I got you, Steve. The cost of this is you actually give up fan lift. Fan lift. So mid-screen, your combos are going to be significantly less. You're going to have to just do like a string into like a special move. But in the corner, you can see there, you're going to be doing hella damage. So that's one of the things that's kind of a trade-off. Then I also gave her Half-Blood Stance, which you can see in the trailer. She pulls out Melina's Psy, and from here she has a couple moves she can do. One is the familiar classic Melina Teleport. Another is she throws the Psy up in the air, and then she's freed up, and Katana can go in for pressure. So the opponent's going to have to block, look out for the Psy, which is going to home in on where they are, and she can go in for throws or whatever else she wants to do. It's, it's especially good if you can get them blocking. Like you do a bunch of fans, get them blocking, then throw this out. And then if they start getting used to it and trying to attack you out of it, you cancel it. Lastly, she has a side stab, which is a great combo under. And that has a crushing blow. And the requirement is pretty interesting. It's to have hit with three of these side moves. So normally, you won't get the crushing blow. But after you've hit three of these, the next time you do it, you're going to get that, and that's actually going to pop them up. Ooh. That's okay. That's okay. okay. Uh, fangirl. That's a really good, uh, yeah. good name. Nice I'm, job. Pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty pumped. So I would say that is our look at Katana. She's uh, redone in a lot of ways, a, a ton of new animations. Uh, but I think... 
those familiar with Katana, like if you want, you know, the, the really good zoning with fans, you want the big conversions, the really good combo, she's still like a combo queen character, I, I think you'll be right at home. She's a fresh take, but pretty familiar if you like Katana. My phone was ringing. Who would call you right now? It was. It looked like it looked like a telemarketer, to be honest. Well, you should have answered. Well, yeah, yeah. Should, it's on important. stream. Yeah, yeah. they have an important report. update about your car insurance. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, awesome. So that's great, Steve. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I'm that. super stoked to see uh, everyone play her. And she has a bunch of other really cool moves too. Like yeah, the, the trailer you could see. You could see there was a teleport in there where she had a dive bomb. There's oh. moves from that. There's there's a and bunch I love of the, stuff. The the fans that like come together. Like yeah. there's, she's got a lot of cool tools in this one. Yep. Yep. Super cool. Uh, one thing real quick before I forget, Alicia Marie, a cosplayer who's yeah. a part of the MK Collective, which we'll be talking about here in a little bit, uh, will be doing an AMA on Discord after the stream. So cool. go to our Discord for that. Rumor, there's a rumor floating around that I might be doing one next uh, in a week and a half or so. 